triad of uh, colored pencils, washi tape, and images this month in my journal, and I'll show you how I use them. So we left off here, and the only thing that I added to this page was a card. I tipped it in just with clear, transparent scotch tape, and I put it on the front and the back to secure it well. This is the week that I taught my first class, and it was so much fun. I can't even begin to tell you how much I enjoyed it. And I had a wonderful group of women. There was about 25 people there total. And here's a group picture of everyone. And then this Where Women Create came from a Somerset magazine, and I thought it perfect that it just went right there. So I cut that out and stuck it over the picture. And um, then I was on vacation this week, so I was documenting that throughout. And um, one thing I wanted to tell you about was, or to remind you of, is I use color pencil on my images to really brighten them up, to bump up the color. And I generally will follow the color pattern of whatever's on the image. Sometimes I'll change them slightly, but for the most part I'll follow it. So, like in this image, I really deepened um, his eyes around there and also the ears and some of the body. And then this image was extremely dull in color, so I bumped that up again, just colored pencil, just color it right over it, around the glasses and the cheeks, just to really make them stand out. I used uh, washi tape, as you can see here, and across here and here. I use washi tape in a lot of different places, um, and I, I love washi tape, and I think you guys know that. So that's pretty much it there, and so there's a flip, one of the stamps that I made, um, and then I got some new washi tape. I just put some samples in here, kind of just to fill in. I have a flip. And that's about it on this page. Moving on to the next week, my vacation was over, and so I was documenting that, um, just getting back to work. Um, some private journaling there. And then this background right here came from a pet sanctuary in Utah called Best Friends, and I saw it in an ad. So I cut that out, and then I had this image of two girls. And this is when I was working on the friendship journal, when I was working out that idea of how I wanted to do it. So I just laid down a piece of washi tape, stuck them in that grass, and then and put this in the background. And I like the way that turned out. It sort of looks you know, perfect, the way they're looking into, the, into that sunset there. Um, everything else on here is just um, a lot of doodling and writing. When I went back to work, the first day back, we had a, a seminar that I had to take, and we built a drone. That was the craft, the, ith, the craft that we had to do, and so I documented about that. I don't generally document a lot about work in my journal. I really just keep it about my everyday life, and but occasionally I'll put something in there. Books that I'm reading, I've noted there, and that's it. On this page, uh, this is from a magazine. I know you've seen this a hundred times. It's a color swatch that runs along the edge of the magazine, and I turned it upside down because I wanted it to be on this page. I wanted the straight edge here. And I don't think it really even matters that it's upside down. You wouldn't even notice it. And then I had some Jane Davenport paper where I just cut out these little tiny squares just to add a little bit more of color. Once again, I bumped up the color um, on the glasses here in this image and on this washi tape. And then um, this was just a little tag that said sweet. And I wanted to put something there, but it was hard for the black to stand out against this green. So what I did was just take a piece of uh, masking tape and just stamped right on that. And it gave it enough contrast so that it would show up. I have a card here that I just tipped in. And on the back of the card, I really wanted to decorate it. So I had this image that I loved, and then I like this 
saying that was actually with this image in a Somerset magazine. The time she spent with her journal could make a bad day seem slightly better and make a good day fabulous. And I thought it very appropriate that it went on this card because this is the thank you that I got from the Collage Guild, the group that I taught. So I love that. On this page, it really just documented that we had rain and um, various things. And I, at the end of the week, I only had this. I had this big white space right here in the center. And I really didn't have much else to document in there. So I thought about just leaving it blank because I don't really have a problem doing that. But I remembered I had this graphic, which I love, and it's big and long. And the reason I really didn't journal much in the week was I got distracted. And I thought it was just perfect. I'll just write that in there. So that's what I did. On this week, uh, this one has a lot of journaling. And this is when I was working on the zine. And so I had a lot of documentation about that. Um, I just various things that I talked about here. Um, I was really now into my part-time work, my semi-retirement, which I'm loving, and so I documented that a little bit. And some ideas that I had that I'm working out. This guy came from a allergist uh, card that we got in the mail, and I thought he was cute, so I just cut him out. Um, just various things here. I made a chocolate cake. Even though that's not truly a chocolate cake, it was good enough to just document it. And uh, that's about it on this page. Again, you see a lot of washi tape here and here and there, down here, across here. You maybe wouldn't even notice how much washi right here that I use because uh, it's just incorporated into that. But uh, anyway, that's it with this that week. And this is my current week, which isn't quite done. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some of these images. This one in particular uh, is Mozzie, our dog. And the funny story behind this is we took Mozzie to the pet store to get, pick up his food. And when you walk into the store, they have these bins of bulk treats. And I had stopped to look at something and really wasn't paying attention, and I felt a tug on the leash. And when I looked around, his head was stuck in those bins. He was just munching his way down from one bin to the next to the next. And so I had to document it, and I made him a little sign like he'd been arrested and a mugshot. And I just love that picture of him. It just cracks me up. So anyway, I wanted to document it, and that was a fun way to do it. So uh, that's it for the week, and I don't believe, let's look at the 6 over 6. I don't believe I added a darn thing to this. I did not. I did not do one thing in this. I was mostly working in my traveler's notebook. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I've heard from quite a few of you now who are still making Traveler's Notebooks. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Traveler's Notebook Hall of Fame. Uh, some new additions of people that have joined the ranks of us who've made a Traveler's Notebook out of a magazine. It's really fun how many people are doing it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'll just flip through these pages. You've seen these, but I'll just show them to you again. Just, I just love looking through this. Um, just because it's the size of it's great. The images are just ones that I really love. Because that's really what I'm putting in here, are those images that I love. There we go. So I think we're getting up to where I left off last time. I think this was the last one that I showed you. And so this week I've done, or this month I've done a few. Now, 
This one is Tilda Swinton, and I like this image. It was a full face, but it was really, really faint. And as you can see here, um, I've really bumped up the color and really made it stand out. And again, just using um, colored pencils, it just makes all the difference in the world. So I like that. And then this was just, uh, the background was just a picture in a magazine. I just set that over. This one came from, I think, Calm Magazine, this background. And I just thought that this lamb looked so content. And so there's the title of the magazine, Calm, Project Calm. And then I just stuck that over. Now this background has absolutely nothing to do with him. It's a map. But I just, I like the way it looked and I love that contentment on his face. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite ones that I've done. I love this cat. And I just think, you've, if you follow my Instagram, you've seen him. But he was super simple. Now, this came, the body was from W Magazine, and it's P. Diddy. That's his body. And then this was an image that I found on Pinterest. So I stuck him, I just sliced this coat open so I could put his neck in and then on his lapel I just found a little word quirky and and put a flower on there and then this is from a um, jewelry ad and I just first I didn't have it on there and I I like the way it looks it's just kind of like a bow tie so I think he turned out great found this little thing for tidy cats and I just thought it was awesome so I went ahead and just, I love him. He's so cute. Okay, um, get you adjusted again. And then this one again is a, a paint ad. And this background, I found it in a magazine. I don't remember which one, but I knew it would be good for something. And I really like the way that turned out with the paint over it. And paint ads just always have great image graphics for you to use um, for color. So... Don't pass them up when you see them in a magazine. This was a digi image that um, I used. I think it's a Vera Lang. And I just colored her up. I used one of my jelly prints in the background. I found this in an ad and thought it would be perfect because that's what she looks like. This was some scrapbook paper um, that just had rows of houses, so I just cut those out. I think this heart came from Pinterest, I think. Might have come from Somerset, but I, no, I think it came from Pinterest. And I just like that it was, it was simple. Again, another one of my jelly prints in the background on this. And that's it. I just cut this one out. This is from a calendar. I don't have anything on it yet. Uh, I have an idea of what I'm going to put on, but it's not through yet. So as you can see... This is coming along nicely. I really don't have a whole lot left. I've really just been using this and having so much fun. So I'm going to use another one. I'm going to make another one and use it for my images as well when this one gets full. It's been a while since I've done tips and tricks. And so I thought I'd bring that back and go through two things that I get a lot of questions on. One is the titles that I use on my page. And as you can see, I vary the size of my titles, and that makes a big difference. I think it adds a lot of interest if you vary the title, the size of your lettering. A lot of it I do freehand. Some of these are stamps or images that I find. Uh, again here, this is a stencil that I used just freehand. And you can see how there's varying sizes of headers on my page. And what, the one thing I really wanted to show you, and it's fun to do and super simple to do, is using letters like this. Now you might remember that I would shown you before, but I'm going to show you again, that I keep my letters in these, I think they're baseball cards. You could do the um, pocket letter things that we probably all have. You can store them in that. And so when I go through my magazines and I see 
uh, interesting looking letters, or even just plain ones, I cut them out. And I vary the size so that I have a lot of options when I'm putting words together. So I just put each of the letters in their own little pocket. And like in this case, where if I'm running low on L's, I'll start looking for L's. And, uh, and that makes it easy to form your words. So like in this case, you can you know, do them all the same size or very similar in size. Or, like when I did the zine, you could see I have two big ones and two little ones. And then I just freehanded the word fun. And it's probably not something that you really noticed when you looked at my journals, but just that there was something that, that made it look different. So keep that in mind if you are looking to put some more fun or color into your journal. Look at maybe adding some magazine or varying your title size. Uh, the other thing I get a lot of questions on are where I get my images. And I get my images from a lot of places. The, the, this one came in the mail on a card. I get them from magazines. I get them from Google Images, clip art. I may uh, get a digi download that um, I get images from, or pictures that I take, like these three, and I'll just print them out, or Pinterest. Pinterest has tons of images, and um, I have a Pinterest page, which you see right here, and I, under quirky images, I have about 2,500 images, and I go there if I'm really looking for something or if I find something that I, um, when I need inspiration, I'll go to that board. And I will just put them into a PowerPoint presentation and size them down to what I think might be appropriate. So I have files of these <laughs> that I keep. And for example, Here's one here now that I've, I've already cut some out of it. But there's a couple images there that I like. And I may make a bigger size and a little one. And then these, these were just, I just kind of guess about the size. I really don't know what I'm going to use it for. And so um, I just was, you know, a lot of people have asked how I do this. Again, just a, a PowerPoint presentation. I just put them in there and then I size them to whatever I think will be appropriate. And just a footnote here, the reason I use PowerPoint is because I'm trying to get as many images onto the page as possible and then I can size them easily. So you can use whatever program works best for you. I think you could use them in Word or any number of programs, but I just use it on that because it's easy and it allows me to size my images correctly. The other thing I want to make sure of is that you realize that these are images from other artists and some of them may have copyrights on them. I use them only for my personal use and I just want you to be aware of that so that you're cognizant of that too. And I don't know if you noticed, but I actually cut away my background. This guy's in my journal this time. Uh, so let me get there. So here he is here. And there he is there. Now you can see how I've intensified the color on him. I really deepened his scarf, made sure his pants showed up well. I put some blush on his cheeks so he showed showed up good and then I actually just cut away the background because I like the way they look against the white I don't generally keep the color at all behind them so just cut it out and then slap it down here's another one and I wanted she was black and white and I really wanted her to have some color so I just took a uh, picked raspberry and just put it on um, behind her and then put her down and it just gave it some color instead of just the black and white image so anyway that's it on images and I think that wraps it up for this month see you in the next video bye for now